Hello and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Valiant. This is map 18, Crush Depth, and as you can see, we've got 483 monsters and 5 secrets. You can also see that 118 of those monsters are dead, and their corpses scattered the exit, where some arch files are going to give us a very, very hard time at the end. So, let's get on with it. Grab the shotgun, we've got four switches, so shoot the first and get moving. Second, third's awkward, and I missed it. Fourth, and then two shotgunners. Let's go and get the secret with the chain gun, and then get that switch that I missed. And now all four crushes are active. So if you lean over there, the poor revenants are having a hard time, which, you know, I feel sorry for them, but at the same time, they deserve it. So they're all going to get crushed. We've picked up everything here. We can flip this to get to the exit. So we can open that up. I'm just going to use my shotgun here. I got that switch a bit later than the rest, so it's taking a bit longer to kill them. Come on. Just try and keep a little bit of my ammo or my bullets. There we go. It's pretty good. Watch the crushers. And let's get... Oh, well, actually, let's grab some of this. Why not? And let's get running. Come on. There we go. It's an invite. And down here, we've got you. Okay, let's keep moving. I'm trying to focus out the hit scan here. Barrels, please. Yes. Got the barrels. Okay, let's keep moving. That's not a bad start. A bit messy, but fair enough. Bit of infighting would be no harm. Don't hit me. Okay. Get a little bit of health. Take a little break and move on again. Gotta leave them alone. I'd like to get up top there because we get a rocket launcher in that space. But it's a pretty demanding space. So I do want to somewhat process before I go for it. Let's go for it. There's enough infighting in there. Oh. Nearly got caught up with some barrels. This is pretty good. Okay, I need to take stuff down quickly and not get too sniped. I need to watch out for chain gunners. Because they can be super demanding here. Just watch my back as well. That there's anything coming in to close me down. There are some... Oh, there's a chain gunner. There we go. Got it down. Good. And I'm standing still here, which I should never do in a map like this. Because the stuff to can see is from all over... All across or all over the map. Okay. Nearly picked up the medikit for 1%. That wouldn't have been great. Come on. Get that chain gunner out and take it down. Okay, so we got a rocket launcher. Let's grab it. This can get a bit awkward, so just be careful. There's not a lot of dodging... Oops. Not a lot of dodging space in there. Come on. Okay. I think you were going to help me, but I couldn't take the risk. Okay, so this, this is a good start. I've done well here. Let's grab that. Okay. Uh, oops. Nearly got held in. That would have been unfortunate. Okay, that rocket's still after me. Oh. Okay. So we didn't get the um, backpack yet. It'd be nice to get a backpack. Let's get in here and have a look. Just got to be a bit careful. You can see, oh, you can see what I mean. Oh, that's a crusher. Don't run into that, please. Probably should let that one fight it out a bit. But oh, fine. Okay, so I got the backpack, which is sweet. So I just wanted to tidy up this area first. That was my main goal. Okay. That's not looking too bad. This is a bit more here. I see a caco coming. Just, I don't like all those projectiles coming across the map, which is normally why I'm moving a bit more than I am right now. But let's start doing it. Let's pick up some stuff and keep going. Monkey boy, you gotta go. Okay, saw you, sorry. Good. Okay. You can already hear it noticeably calmer. That's all good. Okay, what do we want to do next? Let's just pick up some bits and pieces, make sure we're in good shape. There is a secret up here, and we can pick up all the stuff because we've got the extra backpack capacity. You can see this is orange and all the other ones are yellow, so interact with it. And it reveals a secret in here, which is nice. Lots of medikits, which I'm normally all over them at this stage, but not need them right now, which is nice. So that's pretty good. And I can choose which way to go next. I'm going to go down and just tidy up around the crates, because you can see that Super Mancubus is throwing a lot of stuff around, which is making life awkward. Come on. Oops. Some damaging floor. 
Oh, I don't have the super shotgun yet. I tend to play this in a very different order depending on how I'm doing. Okay, don't stand out there. I thought it was covered from the super mancubus, but it wasn't. And they're pretty beefy. Okay. Let's take it down. I'll do. Grab some stuff here. Okay for a medikit right now. Okay. Just pick up all the bits and pieces. Some more rockets. And we're looking pretty good. Just going to do some tidy up. Another caco down here. We can do some pre-clearance there with those imps. Because we need to go down there. And we've got two arch files who are going to come in. So just having them out of the way beforehand makes life a lot easier. Okay. We can actually just go into that space and manage this bit next. You can you can run in. You just need to be super careful with it. So that's the run in. They're going to come in now. So let's grab the stuff and grab after them. That's one down. I don't know where the other one is. So just need to be careful. I think I nearly walked out, out in front there. Okay. Definitely had the feeling I was pretty lucky with that. Come on. Want to take you all down. You can see I'm getting sniped from over there. Don't think I can reach them. There is a rad suit in here, so I might try and reach them. So, rad suit first. Be careful with the damaging floors in this one. Oops, bounced off the wall. So just up top here, you can see imps. Ah, oh, that was pretty sweet. And we do have, while we're here, we've got a secret teleporter here. So let's hop on this. This might be an imp up here. Yeah, you can see the corpse there, so it was around. Let's grab that as well, why not? Just pick up all this stuff for as much as you want to. And you can just run off to get back out. And I missed it. But actually, the, the place I was going to go was over here next. So let's get back up and do this area next. Okay. So if we go back where we got our rocket launcher, this is one of the key areas I was trying to get to at the very start. This area here. So if you get to here and you just turn around this pillar that's just in line with it. If you drop down here, there's a secret. So just drop down a second time. We're on this, we get the super shotgun, which is really why I wanted it, but we also get the health, which is nice. Rad suit's wearing off, so let's grab that. We're gonna bring in two spider mastermind here, so we need to be careful. I'm going to ignore all the rest of it and just pick up all the stuff we need and make sure you grab everything here when you trigger it in. So we've got everything here, which is good, which includes the blur sphere. You can see we're locked in. Just start on the unlocking process as quickly as you can. Did I not pick up the plasma? Come on. Oh, but there's a nice infight with this, but not looking like it at the moment. Okay. Oops, we can get out here. So that's what I, that was my plan. So I'm going to let all that churn up a little bit and just leave it alone. And I'm going to go and sort out the rest of this area. We've got a blur sphere on, which isn't particularly helpful for a lot of this. But up top here, we've got some Arachnotron. Let's draw them away slightly and then get up. Maybe even get an infight here if we can. Come on. Okay, I'm 100 on health, which is okay. But can't relax too much with this. Actually, much easier to get up on top here and take them down from the side. Because I don't think I've got anything on my back here. Oh, I've got partial invisibility, which I forgot about. Makes it a little bit more challenging. That man just looks like it was stuck. Okay. You know what? I do have the rocket launcher. Don't know why I'm messing around with the shotgun on this. Okay. Grab some more stuff. I think over here as well. Yeah, box of shells. Just grab them. There is actually... Oops, just watch that one. There is this. Get that one out of the way. Did want to grab that um, rad suit just to leave myself plenty of flexibility with pickups. I don't need to pick that one up now and I can move on a little bit further. Getting into this section with the rocket launcher makes this a lot easier. So definitely my preference. I should actually just throw a rocket up there. Get rid of some of those imps. Oh, where's that? Pain Elemental is getting lost. So, keep an eye on your health there. Oops. Health can change very, very quickly on a map like this. So, 63 is not ideal, but okay. And I think this stuff... Yeah, there's a caco blocking me. 
Okay, need to be super careful. And that's why extra rad suits and things help, because I don't need to worry about that. So, just as it starts to blink, got the new one ready, and we're off again. Okay, still have another one there, which is nice. But, you know what? Rockets again. I need to move relatively slowly here, because I don't want to get too close with the rock launcher on. Health is bad, so I need to reassess here. Health is very bad, actually. Wow. There is other health around, so I can go and scout a little bit over here. Oops. Okay. Let's not take too many risks. Okay. Let's get up top. I'm going to go chain gun on this. Because I want to be able to stun lock that Rakatron. Not take too much damage. Okay. Oops. I can see all those projectiles coming. So just sit it out for a second. Let them clear. Okay. So we've got no rad suit, so let's pick up all this stuff here, including all the cells and things I grabbed. And then down here, got this. And let's do our tidy up here. Scanning around as we go. Okay, I'm gonna get scammed in a second. Just be careful. I feel like there's stuff flying up to... Oh, there it is. I can sense that arachnorp around. Okay. And you. Come on, down you come. Okay, health is good, making good progress. Got a cackle flying over here. Let's get rid of it. Okay, just doing my little sanity pass now that we've tidied up this area. We've got bullets over there, got everything there, great. Let's keep moving. Super shotgun, some more ammo. I ran this fairly quick, so I didn't get to have a good luck for everything, so just gonna do my sanity pass now. Okay, looking good. Let's grab another one of those, there's plenty around. Anything in here? Some rockets, some more cells. And now we can run back where we had the initial fight when we were here. And I've got the rad suit recently, so that'll keep me going. And might be best to be on plasma here, because there could be a spider. Come on. I don't have the blur sphere anymore, so I need to be a little bit careful here. Might have done better with an in-fight in this one, to be honest. Oh, okay. My meat shield is gone, I need to be careful. Okay. That was quite a lot of plasma, so let's keep some more. I won't be back here, so I'm just gonna make sure I don't run out of rad suit. That's all looking good. So I think we're done. Let's get back up top. Okay. So just, a lot of this is just focusing on tidying things up. I'm going to go and grab the red key next, and that means two arch files, so just need to be pretty careful here. So you can see the red key up there, this is the switch, we're not getting scammed by anything because we've done a lot of tidy up now, which is good. So we can flip this, but just keep pumping the rockets, don't hold back. Come on. Just grab that cover. Come on. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. I hear a caco or something around. There we go. Caco it is. Oh, more than one. Come on. Okay. So we're in good shape. Pick up all the bits and pieces, because why not? And I'm just going to check we didn't have any wandering monsters. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we've got the red key. You can go up top here. I think we probably killed all of this stuff from outside anyway. So this should be fairly straightforward. Yeah, all dead. So just take your time, pick up all the bits and pieces, and then we can flip this switch to lower all this and get in here. Watch out for the chain gunner first, and then the revenants. Whoa, okay. That was a bit silly. No need to get into trouble on that one. Okay, let's grab those, shoot to get out. And I'll see if I can get the super monkey with sin fighting here, but probably not. Come on, Super Manny. Okay. Could do a bit better with my dodging. Okay. Rockets it is. Just watching those Arachnatron over there. Needs to be a little bit careful. Come on, I'll do you. Just 
Just need to be careful I don't get penned in here. Okay. Also got some revenants and things, so we need to be a little bit careful. Come on, Rev. Get my shot in. Just let that one drift away. Okay. Let's get this started. It opens up this. We're going to get loads of stuff in there. Try and pat them. Just try and pat them through the middle of this. So that it takes loads of damage from the crusher. You can see if you're not well lined up with this. You can end up patting them back out of here. And they don't get crushed. Oops. And then you've got to deal with them yourself. That's pretty good. Okay. We've got a couple of rockets. So I'm just going to try and tidy up a little bit on the sides if I can. While I'm waiting. Just take down some of the rack orbs that are drifting around the place. Okay, maybe the super shotgun's better for them. Don't want to take me one splash damage, I have to get quite close to them. So I'm trying to keep my average position in the middle of this crusher, so they stay in there for as long as possible. If they start coming out, just drift around and bring them back to the other side again. That's all you want to do, is keep them moving over and back. Whoa, okay, this isn't good. Need to manage my health. Come on, where are all these arachnorbs that are scamming me? Looking pretty empty, which is good. Arachnorbs, where are you? Okay. <laughs> oh, not seeing them. There we go, it's one of them. Okay, maybe that's good enough for now. And let's grab the blue key. Just run through the middle. Oh, it's a bit risky. Yeah, that was not worth the stim pack. Okay, so we're tidied up here. We've got the blue key now as well. I'm actually going to go for a secret next, which is a very, very hard run secret. It's in there, and you need to run very, very fast to get to it before I do it, because I think we get a soul sphere. I'm going to just medic it up. There we go. And this is a strafe run issue, so you need to run very, very fast to make this one. And you've got to run through two, two crushers to get to it. So I don't oh, I, I, I don't find this easy. I think this is a rough one for a lot of people I think are going to struggle with this one. But if you walk over the edge of this, you can hear a door. So I'll just go quiet for a second. And it'll close again. That's it. And I'm going to wait for that pillar to get close to the, the floor we're walking on here. And I'm going to run for it. Okay. So... Ready to go, but we need to be super fast. So when it's just coming down close, now. You hear it open? And I was too... Just my, my arc around this outside was uh, a bit too wide, so I didn't make it. So it's open, wait for it to close. Post come down, go. Oh, that could have been squashed. I This is a tough run. The crusher was closing. Not quite on time with this. This this is pretty tough to do. No. Come on. Go. Just about. That was pretty tough to do, but I just about managed it. Okay, so we got the red key, which is done. We got the blue key. So let's do the blue key area next. We have all of our secrets, which is sweet. So the blue key area is down here. You've got blue there and yellow there. Blue is pretty rough. Okay, so we need to get out of this fight as quick as we can. We need to shoot four switches on each of the kind of uh, edges of the cruciform on this one. So we've got a kind of cross here and each of them has got a switch. We need to shoot it. It lowers that and we can get onto a teleporter with the yellow key and get out. That's my target with this. So first switch here. Oop. That didn't do it. Okay. There we go. Don't know if I hit it. I gotta go around again. I did hit it, so I didn't need to do that. That's the second one. I used the super shotgun here because it's spread. It's very hard to do this with the other weapons. Now it's lowering, and now we can get out. Okay. That's that's my strategy on that one, because that's rough to stay inside. And once you do all that, the crushers come on, so some of the enemies you have outside that are scamming you, like the Pyro Knights, get crushed. Without that, it's... You know, you could, you could survive it, but it's pretty rough being inside. 
So you can fire a couple of rockets in here if you want. You see a Pyronite over there, you can see a Mancubus over there. You can throw over some stuff, and we can get back in when we're comfortable. It's not fully done yet, we could stay out for longer if we wanted. But the main thing here is that all of the monsters outside us that scam from the outside are dead. So if you look there, you can see the Crusher going up and down. It's doing that on every side. When those monsters are alive, this is horrifically demanding. I really just wouldn't bother trying to take it on. Okay, so that's all that. We're in good shape, 483 kills. So we do have a Megasphere we didn't get. No harm in getting it now. So if we run back to where the crates were, and we go down here, we can flip this switch and just check. Yeah, you can see two Arachnorbs down there. We need to kill those Arachnorbs because we need 485 kills before we progress to the end. So I'm just going to go down to deal with them. Nothing more. Okay, so they're, they're all down. I'm going to drop into the teleporter that's here. And then I'm going to do that, hopefully a bit more carefully, and try and get the Mega at the bottom. There we did. That's not so bad. And I thought the teleporter was over there. It's on this side. But that'll do. That's that's good health. And that's all the kills. So again, I'm not, not sure about backtracking in this one. I haven't found an easy... I haven't found a way of backtracking on it. I didn't look too hard because I don't need to, but if that's your thing, be careful with it. When we flip this switch, it lowers all these. But I will not go in here... If, I, if I'm trying for all kills and all secrets, I won't go in here until I have all secrets and eight, 485 kills. The rest are arch files, and remember all those dead enemies at start? This is where we deal with them. So let's strafe in here, grab the rad suit, and in here. Let's just push through here fairly quickly. And can't get in there. Let me get out. Oops. So we need to take these arch files down as quickly as we can. So I'm going to camp in here for a bit. There are rad suits further back. Try and use the crushers to build everything up here a little bit. But things will build. That's the first one. Come on. Should be dead. Oh, come on. Thought I was doing really well with that one. They can come around you, so be super careful. What am I doing to get hit? Am I just showing myself more than I'm expecting? Or maybe I'm hitting arch files that are already attacking something else. That's another one down. Come on, Archie, come over to me here, please. Oh, there's a good few Archies. Okay, so I'm running out of suit. I need to be running. Oops. Come on. Manage that badly. Let's get in here, grab that. We can flip this. It allows us to navigate a little bit easier. So let's get back in here again. You can see an arch file coming. Just be careful. Let's take him down. This is a good place to be. Okay. Four kills left. I've got another arch file. We do. That'll do. Okay. Nothing magical about this. But managed to do it. <laughs> so that's all kills, all secrets. Just be careful. Now is not the time to die in a crusher. So if I just... I, I don't really know the mechanic here. I'm just going to flip the switches on both sides. And I think that opens up something in here. Which is another switch. And I think this switch lets us out. So just basically keeps you honest. You can't run past it all and get out. You need to do a li little bit of backtracking with all the arch files and stuff in place. Let's get out here. Grab another rad suit for no particular reason. And that's it. Death exit. Oh, this is, this is a tough old one. Um... You know, I've really enjoyed this, but I will say with it, th this one I've played a lot harder than some of the other ones. I, I find this one pretty tough. Again, the standard thing with me, no particular fight in this was overly challenging. They're all very manageable in their own ways, particularly with things like the, you know, the yellow key fight. You know, go in, hit the four switches as quick as you can, use the super shotgun because you don't need to be at the right height. With the chain gun, you need to stand right on the precipice at the edge of the, the, the ledge of the window to hit it. But the, the super shotgun, you can shoot it as you go and keep moving. And you can shoot it from distance, which makes it an awful lot easier to do. So, like, fights like that can be brought under control using methods like that. But um, I did find it a, a very attritional map. So lots and lots of times in this, 
find my health just running low at various stages and just not able to get myself back into good shape again. So be super, super careful with it, particularly I found hit scan are very, very demanding and the opening section where we get the rocket launcher, just that area near the rocket launcher, it's full of chain gunners, it's full of um, shotgunners and things like that. And, you know, it saps your health really, really quickly. And if you slow down to try and get in there, all the other stuff around you, the super monkey by a distance or imps or the arachnotron or arachnorb start flooding in, causing problems. But, you know, it's all very manageable. It's just a relatively long map, a broad map, and there's lots and lots of areas where you can take just uh, attritional damage on it that'll take you out. So be super, super careful, but it has been a lot of fun. I have enjoyed it. Again, 485 kills. Make sure you have them if you want to get your all kills before you go into the last section. I didn't find a way to backtrack on that specific one. There might be one there, but I didn't see it. So just be aware of that. And again, all good secrets in it. Enjoyed finding those. Um, nice fun kind of tracking them down and finding how to get to them. I will say on this one, I thought the secret with the soul sphere that you have to um, run into from the, the starting area, that was a very demanding run. I was pushing SR40 nearly all the time with that just to try and get in. I know my curves and my lines weren't perfect in it, but even still it was very, very tight to get in there. And I think running it straight without strafing, I don't think you could make it. Um, I didn't use SR50, so it's, it's not that level demanding, but it is pretty, pretty tough. Particularly when you're running as fast as you can around a corner and through t two crushers, because you can take a lot of damage in that without uh, wanting to. So really, really enjoyed it. Big, sprawling, beautiful map. Loads of lovely architecture, loads of interesting fights and things going on there. So I had an awful lot of fun with this one. I think we do have a, uh, a text screen on this because it's the end of an episode. So on this one, we've obviously finished episode three. Um, you know, meet the new corruption, and we're into episode four next, which is Thou Art Annihilation. So it's been an, an awful lot of fun. Again, another episode where the difficulty level for me has stepped up a bit, but nonetheless, keeping me honest, keep pushing me forward, and I've been enjoying it. So let's get into this one. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Bromine vapors, arsenic fumes, cyanide smog, carcinogenic miasma, laced with valiant. Each force pant brings you one step closer to your last desperate gasp. You know, with clarity, that the time you've spent in this toxicity has made your infection certain. Suddenly, a gateway appears before you. You stumble in desperate for clean air, but what you smell is sulfur and brimstone. So that's the end of this one. It's been so, so much fun. Really, really looking forward to the next one. I'm, I'm interested to see how much the difficulty level um, steps up. You know, this one has been probably the toughest map for me so far. Not, it's still not, you know, like, um, not as demanding as Fire and Ice or The Destination or anything like that, but still pretty tough. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if they continue to get more difficult from here, but still very manageable and still pushing me to get my skills improving, which is which is the whole point of this. So I've had a lot of fun. Hope you guys have too, and I'll see you in the next one. We can actually just run in there now if we want to and take on the um, arch files. Definitely want plasma for this one. So I'm just gonna race in, take them on. This is the first one. Oh, I'm getting attacked from both sides. Oh, that was nasty. So let's grab some more stuff. You know what? Let's just get up top and get rid of these Rakatron. Definitely take no prisoner more than that one. I want to pick up all the cells. Wow. And you've got a little backpack in there. I want that backpack. Always nice to get a backpack. Okay. Grab all this. I want to get the barrels. Or... Have something get them for me, would be nice. Okay, barrels locked down to me. So I might be able to get in here. Let's just run through. Let's drop in here, grab another rad suit, and keep moving. We do have a rocket launcher, actually. So let's use it. Come on. Wow. Tanky old pain element. Fair enough. Oh, no way. How did that happen? Really? <laughs>